For most days of the year, Jacques-Patrick Chabert can be seen sitting on a bench near the old hospital on St. Michael's Road. Oh. He doesn't know very many people, but saying that, no one knows him. He's rather perplexing with the most extraordinary fashion sense. He can stay there for hours. Sometimes he can be seen with his pet goat. But only on rare occasions can he be caught interacting. Jacques is what most people would pigeonhole as an oddball. He has his hobbies like anybody else, but he does the most curious of things. He collects bells, all shapes, all sizes, yet the damn beggar can't bear to hear them ring. For 46 years now, he's cut and stuck and sawn and hammered and pinned and twisted and folded and melted. His eccentric ways have led him to papier mashing almost all of his crockery. Obviously, Le Monde is his favourite. But when push comes to shove, he'll settle for the Daily Telegraph or the Daily Sport. He has his reasons for doing this, however absurd it may seem. As if that doesn't make mealtimes difficult yeah. enough. Jack loves gardening. He knows who's to blame, though. Payback for ruining his beloved flowers is coating the canal service with loaves upon loaves of white bread to bloat the blessed things up. I think he's a meanie, like a bunch of ducks would be capable of that. OK, men. Execute mission daff or kill on my command. By the left, quick, march! I wish I could have half the appreciation Jacques has for nature. He once crouched for an hour on his patio watching a snail weave in and out of the weeds, leaving the silver trace Jacques likes to call the treasure trail.
I used to be in a choir. <laughs> Many years now, I might add. <sighs> every Tuesday evening and every Sunday service. <sighs> My sisters and I used to uh, compete to see who could sing the loudest. I haven't seen you here before. Um, I am Catholic. I love Christmas. My son, he lives miles away, so I don't get to see my grandson very often. Do you have family? Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? Would you like to join us to, for Christmas dinner? No matter. Well, if you change your mind, this is my address. We're dining at one. My son, he's roasting a duck. Merry Christmas, Jacques. Jacques did turn up for lunch that day, and my word, did he enjoy that duck. He was already part of the family. <laughs> Thank you. 